We talked a lot about content creation, automating things, the task management when it comes to content creation. And a lot of you ask, but Evie, there is so much to do. Yes, there is. But today I'm going to show you nine plus one tools that make your content creation process way easier. As you might have seen in the last video, I already walked you through the workflow and the process of content creation and repurposing. Now today, I want to walk you through the nine plus one tools we use to really simplify and automate our content creation process so that you can do it too. Let's start in the beginning and you probably have already seen that ClickUp. You are on my channel. I've been talking ClickUp for quite a while now. And you might have also seen the content creation workflow that I have ready for you as a template right in my academy. That is where we are managing all of the tasks. This is where you are assigning team members to take care of write the social media posts, get the blog post up. Do you have all the content? When is the content going out? All of this task management is happening right here in ClickUp. And if you are interested, the link to the template is going to be right in the description as well as a link to go get ClickUp with some savings. So pop on in the description and go get your template to not spend hours building this cute little puppy yourself. Now, if you watched last week's video, you know that I'm preaching to start with a YouTube video in the beginning. But well, what to talk about in a YouTube video? What are people actually looking for? What's working? What's not working? Evie, I don't know. That's what we are using TubeBuddy for. TubeBuddy makes it really easy for me to not only know what's working on my channel and what's not, but they also have an advanced keyword research tool that allows me to easier decide how to phrase my title because I can say the same thing in 10,000 different ways with using a couple of different words. Now, which one of those are you actually looking for? That's what this keyword research over at TubeBuddy allows me to do. Now, Evie, I don't really, do I want to record video? Do I not want to record video? The easiest way to get started with videos. Agency owners, this is a perfect pro tip for your clients. If you are a business owner, digital entrepreneur that is still fighting to go live, believe me, going live is the easiest way to start creating video content. The moment you get over yourself and just hit that button and go live, it is what it is. You are not overthinking. You are out of your hole. Everything has to be perfect BS. It just is. And it is fun connecting with your audience. Now, my easygoing, get started, multi-streaming live show tool is StreamYard. Love the guys and girls over there at this company. Love the interface. It is really easy to get started with. Really, really simple. So when you are starting out with video, you don't want to have to think about all of the buttons in here and there and what it's, ha they have made it really easy for you to get started with live video. And you even can record video in there too. Just saying. Now here's your plus one because I actually use two tools for video. StreamYard is my choice for simple, easy, go live, don't have to worry about all the things and scenes and layouts and all the stuff, and multi-stream. StreamYard allows you to stream to many multiple different locations all at the same time. Now, my secondary tool of choice is Ecamm. Ecamm is a Mac-only streaming software that allows you to stream to one location. You can stream through the virtual camera into StreamYard and then multi-channel live stream from StreamYard. So that is possible. But now you also understand why I really love StreamYard for beginners, because now we are getting technical. We are getting really nerdy. StreamYard allows you to really get nerdy with your video. Oh, look, there's Stephanie Lou and Doc Walk. As you can see right here, destination to Facebook, which profile are we choosing? which community going live now or recording in here. I actually use Ecamm to record my YouTube recorded videos because it's just the easiest way for me. And it allows you to really get nerdy. As you can see on the setup right here, you have multiple levels, you have layers. You want to up level your video, get yourself Ecamm and forget about OBS. Who needs OBS? 
The problem is if you are not Mac, you can't use it. It's Mac only. And actually one of the main reasons I switched to Mac. Now we talked about your task management when it comes to content creation. We talked about your YouTube research and how to figure out how to word your title and what keyword to focus on. We talked about going live using StreamYard. We talked about taking your video to the next level with Ecamm. Now that we have the video done, I don't care if it's live or if it's a recorded video, the video is done. Now we want to get the transcription. So we download this YouTube video or Facebook video, wherever you have posted it. We download this video and plug it right here into our Descript. Now Descript is a AI that automatically trans describes your video and they're doing really well even with my accent which means a lot not a lot of transcription softwares can do that and what we do then is we clean up our transcriptions right in here download the srt file you can grab that right up there export grab the srt file upload it to youtube because first of all that gives you bonus points because you got your manual transcription up there but also it is spelled right so let's make it easy for our asl community that they actually can consume our content too now the bonus of descript is you can edit video in here. I can say, cool, this is a nice little tidbit. I want to turn this into another piece of content. We just clip this as a new one into a composition. Don't you love those screenshots that always happen? Ah, yes, I always have really weird faces on screenshots. And again, now we have a short little piece of content right here, which is a total of how much? I don't even know. 25 seconds. We go right there. 2191. You can now use Descript to build this into other pieces of content where you easily can say, OK, we are going from landscape to actually square. And now we are adjusting the video accordingly. And with that, my computer is a little slow right now. I know it looks grainy. It doesn't look grainy when you export it. You can build little bits and pieces of micro content to post right into your feet. And as you saw, there is other sizes in here too. There's a whole bunch, whole nother video for that. Just know we love Descript for cleaning up our transcription as well as generating micro content easily and effortlessly. Now we created all of this content. We actually have to store it somewhere. And if you have watched my content creation template in ClickUp, you already have seen how we handle automation of these assets and all kinds of things. More on this here in just a second. But we are working with Google Drive because it makes these automations really, really easy. It is readily available to all of my team members. I just need to add them here. We have our naming convention in here and all of the files are straight up right in here from our final video to the graphics to the raw that I had recorded nicely sorted and stored and available anywhere. So even if I go visit my family in Germany, I still can access everything and continuously work with my team. Cool. We got all of this content created. We got the task management done in ClickUp. We got our keyword research done and all the planning done in TubeBuddy. We did the live stream on StreamYard, got fancy with Ecamm, now got it all in Drive. Cool. What do we do with all of this now? We schedule our content. Now, my favorite tool to schedule social media content is a go up holds. If you've been around, I've mentioned them a couple of times. I love them, first of all, because they have an amazing team. If you know, I only work with companies where the team and the company goals align with me. Not only that, the ability to schedule regularly, but also queue content. So I'm not even going to dive into social ROI. Social ROI is perfect for our agencies. And when you are running sales funnels and lead funnels to figure out which of your social media content is working, that going all nerdy, we have another video on that. Simply on the scheduling piece of content, it is so much fun to repurpose our content, right? We just generated a whole bunch of stuff. I don't want to just have to manually schedule one of those posts to go out there and one of the posts to go out there and then this and here. Why? 
you, most of your content should be evergreen. Now we took this one big YouTube video and we turned it into 10, 5, 15, 20 different pieces of social media content. Now I throw them in my YouTube evergreen because it's right there. And now this piece of content is going to go out anytime and every time I wanted it to. And when I told a girl upholds to publish YouTube evergreen content and you just throw it in there, you tell a girl upholds, okay, repeat this. 20 times over the next whatever time and only publish it like every other week. Now imagine this. Just play this through here for a minute. You have created three, four, five YouTube videos. Each of those has about 10, 15 pieces of social media content with it. Written content, image, the video with itself, linking to something. And now you just pluck those in here. What do you think? How many months of continuously content going out, driving traffic back to your YouTube video, your blog post, are you now suddenly having ready, scheduled and going all on its own? How do you think I'm always on Facebook? Just saying. Do not ever forget about email. Yes, we are talking about social media content, but your email list already knows you. They decided to join your email list. Have a welcome sequence ready. Have update sequence ready of, hey, a video just went out. Whatever it is, make sure you are really nurturing your email list because they chose to be there. It's not a cold sale. You don't have to fight to be there. And they are there when you are launching your next project already warmed up. Don't just be like, hey, buy my stuff. You do want to stay in contact with them. You don't want to be like the people on LinkedIn that are like, hey, by the way, I just connected with you, buy my stuff. Don't do that. Again, we really want to be smart about our social media campaigns. So Encharge is our tool of choice for email nurturing campaigns because they have a lot of nerdy capabilities. You don't have to use them all. That allows us to combine sales funnels, lead funnels, our website and all the data we are getting in to deliver a great experience right in your inbox. Now, last but not least, you might have seen this before, make formerly Integromat my automation software of choice because there is so much what we can do in here. The automation I'm showing you right now is actually the automation we use to simplify our content creation process when I am getting my social media images for a specific YouTube video. Have a video on that one if you want to see it. This automates a form where my graphic designer just plugs in the task ID and the images. It adds it to ClickUp, it adds it to Google Drive. The naming convention is right, so you don't have to count on your team to do the naming convention, right? And it's done automatically. All I need to do is fill out a form. Two things, plug it in, done. And these are my nine plus one favorite tools for social media marketing. And if you haven't seen it yet, go watch the video where I'm talking about the overall process and workflow of content creation, how we repurpose one single YouTube video in hundreds and hundreds of pieces of content. And have you subscribed yet? Because we are doing even more videos on content creation and how to make it really easy for you.